try. There we go. First, first fish of the day. This is Austin and one of the deck hounds. What's your name? Kyle. Kyle. We're fishing aboard the Pacific Voyager today out of Seafquare Sport Fishing in San Diego. And Austin just caught this bonita. We're out here. We're just south of Coronado Islands at the rock pile. We'll be looking for yellowtail, more bonita, maybe even a calico bass or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Congratulations. Good job, buddy. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Bradley Smokers, when you only want the very best. By Shakespeare, manufacturers of the Ugly Stick, America's best-selling fishing rod. By Game Saver, preserve your fish, use a Game Saver. By Penn, the biggest name in fishing. Right, here's my calico I just caught on live bait. I'll just flip them up here. It's a nice calico bass. Big calico bass. And this is what we're using, Dan Hernandez rod. Ten reel. Poly fish. Fishing for the Pacific Voyager right now. Skipper just made a move and we got the island right off the bow of the boat. We're actually in Mexican waters and we're looking for yellowtail, bonita, and hopefully some more calico bass like this. Go ahead and let this guy go. Just got bit on a fly line bait. Pretty sure it's a bass. Look at this we just got here. Just fishing a fly line bait, light line, 15 pound test line. And see what we got here. It's acting like another calico. See the Coronados right over my shoulder. And we're in Mexican waters. Here, it's another calico bass. Sorry about that, Dennis. There's the calico bass. Nice fish. There's a gear we use Well, let's take a little break from the action. You go to the tackle box and show you the tackle that we're using for today's fishing here aboard the Pacific Voyager. This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by Cabela, America's foremost outfitter. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. We're inshore fishing, and you may think, you know, you're over at the island, how can that be inshore? 
When I say inshore fishing, what I mean is we're targeting fish in 100 feet of water or less. So that's all considered inshore. It doesn't matter if you're Coronado Islands or farther down in Mexico or right along the kelp there in San Diego or up in Los Angeles. It really doesn't matter. Inshore fishing is inshore fishing. And even when I'm at Guadalupe Island, which is over 200 miles offshore, and I'm fishing in water 75 feet or less, I still consider that inshore fishing. So what we're doing today is targeting the bonita, calico bass, and there might be an occasional barracuda. And because of that, what I like to do is use a thin wire circle hook. This is a 702 owl made by Laser Sharp, and it's a great hook for weeding out the smaller calicos. Uh, lots of times when we're calico fishing, you catch a lot of shorts. You don't want to hurt those fish. And what a circle hook does is it allows you to hook the fish around the corner of the jaw, and the eye of the hook is outside the fish's mouth, so it never hurts the fish. The other advantage to this is if barracuda swim by, lots of times we lose a barracuda because they'll swallow the whole hook in line, and their teeth are so sharp, they'll bite right through it. But with the circle hook, again, that hook is going to be right in the corner of the jaw. The eye of the hook is going to be outside their mouth. So the fish's teeth will never touch the monofilament of your fishing line, so you don't have to worry about getting cut off. That's the big advantage of circle hooks. Now, if you're not sure what these ho hooks look like in your store, what you can do is pick up one of the Dan Hernandez inshore hook kits. They're made by Eagle Claw. They're filled with laser sharp hooks, and they come with a wide selection of hooks that you need for inshore fishing. The 702 Al circle hook is one of those hooks. And you'll see that I use red hooks, black hooks, big variety hooks, but I try to stay away from are the chrome color hooks. I like more of the colored hooks. They seem to work great for me. And there's also a DVD in here on the different regs and knots that you need for inshore fishing. You'll see this particular knot that I have here is a perfection loop knot. And the reason for that is I want my bait to be able to swim freely when it's in the water. That's why I have that loop. When you tie it, when you're actually fishing, the loop will be a little bit smaller but I just have a little bit bigger one here so you can see it. Now, when we start fishing the calicos, the fish will be a little bit deeper in the kelp, and today we have a little bit more current. So you want to have a sliding sinker like this. Uh, you can go anywhere from a quarter ounce to an eighth of an ounce, just depending on how much current you have and how deep you're fishing. You can go, you know, just different size sinkers should always be in your tackle box. You never quite know what you're going to need. Now, as far as a rod and reel, you know, this type of fishing is perfect for my Dan Hernandez signature rod. It's made by Shakespeare. It's an ugly stick custom rod. I picked out the components and the colors, the actions. It's just perfect for this type of fishing. Got pinned up with the Pin International 975. It's got a level wind on it, so when you're winding back your line and, and you just concentrate on fighting the fish, you don't have to worry about moving the line back and forth. The reel will do it all for you. This is all you need. Real simple gear. Great rod and reel for this type of fishing. 20 pound test line is really all you need on that. And again, if you're not sure what hooks you need, just pick up one of my hook kits. You can find the hook kits on my website or at your local tackle store. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.
doing here, guys? We're trolling around the Coronado Islands looking for Bonita and Yellowtail. We just had a couple of uh, Bonita strikes on a cedar plug here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna send it back about three or four wakes. We wanna make sure that the jig's not skipping out of the water. There's a little bit of swell today, so you wanna make sure that it's back far enough to where it's not coming out of the water. Looking for fish. We just had a bonita strike about five minutes ago. Hoping for another one, maybe a yellowtail strike too. So we'll see what happens. Set this jig. How effective is this? It's very effective. Watch this. Ah, let go! Bonita. What we're looking for when we troll though, jig strikes and stop the boat, hopefully hang some bait fish. And get up here the rail. Hey guys, let me slide in here real quick. There we go. There he is, Calico. He's coming up. Just a little Calico bass. Low calico. And this is what we're using, just a small hook. Yeah. Small hook size, four hook, little sliding sinker rig. And it's gonna go grab me an anchovy and send it on. There we go. Looks like a calico on a fly line bait. There it is. Yeah, a little calico. Or did he get it? You know what happened? The seal ate my bait. But it didn't happen. The calico came up and ate the head. <laughs> That's all that was. We've been having a tr trouble here at the island today with seals a little bit. Just uh, they bite the baits in half. And you can see my bait right here, how it's just the head. That's what happened. The seal came by and ate it. The bait was just floating out there and the calico came out and ate it. Skipper just made a move and I uh, just tossed out a live anchovy and sardine. We got bit. We got a light line on here. Let's see what happens this time. Probably Benita, but we get a lot of Benita in this spot. We're just trolling around the north end of the island and uh, North end of the island, had a couple of trolling lures in the water, and they did. The guys caught about five or six fish, and so slowed down a little bit, I threw out the spade, and we just got bit again. Back in like a bonita. Swine down, lift up. Light line bonita, a lot of fun. Fly line sardine, easy enough. This is a 12 pound test line and an international reel, one of my Dan Hernandez rods. This is the kind of fishing we're doing here in Coronado Islands now. We're catching Bonito right now. We caught a few 
the calico bath earlier. We're still looking for the yellowtail. We know there's yellowtail around, and that's our goal. But well, we're gonna take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show, show you how to cook up some of these fish that we're catching today for the Pacific Voyager. Baja California is still the best year-round catch south of the border. Visit discoverybajacalifornia.com and check out more ways you must do Baja. Mexico, beyond your expectations. This week in the galley, we're here aboard the Pacific Voyager. And standing next to me is Jeff. He's a cook here aboard the boat, and he's way more than a cook, a chef here. And what is it you have for us today, Jeff? Well, I have a filet of yellowtail, and we're going to do a bourbon sauce. I'm going to show you how to make a bourbon. It's a basic uh, reduction French sauce for, for basically for fish. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, basically, what you do is you take a cup and a half of white wine, and you want to put it into a into a, a shallow pan or something that's got to get it boiling, it's going to be boiling. You want to take a quarter cup of shallots, put them in there, and this has to reduce down to where there's only about a tablespoon of liquid left in there. Okay, so it's almost all gone, okay? And then when it comes out, you would take it and, and there would be nothing left to it and you would put in cold butter cubes. Uh, there's one third of a pound here, okay? And you just put it in slowly and whip it in until it comes and it'll look like this, okay? It's basically what it ends up looking like. You know, How long does it take that. to do that? Uh, it takes about 15 minutes of hard boiling to reduce it down to, to it's called au sec, which is what, what the term for um, Anyway, this should be done. And, uh, at the end, what you do is you, you melt your, your, um, your butter in there, and then you want to squeeze a little bit of lemon in there, you know, to taste or whatever, and about a, a one, uh, one ounce of heavy cream, okay, just to hold the sauce together so it doesn't break. Let's plate some up. You can garnish it, you know, I don't have any garnishes here, but it's a, it's a very tasty dish. I'll let Dan try it there. And I know we're using yellowtail today, but you could do this with bonita or you calico could do bass it with or any anything. Fish, any fish. I'm gonna try this. I've never tried this sauce before. That is good. Isn't that good? All that butter that's so the rich. The butter and the, yeah, it's really very rich, but it's uh, that's it's delicious. Very popular in uh, France. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. You bet. Thanks, Dan. This is a Thank great you dish. Like you can come out here with the Pacific Voyager. They run trips every day and uh, have Jeff cook, a, cook you up a dish like this. All right, well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Uh, all the exotics. Sling cut on the plastic. Now we need a white sea bass. We'll have all the exotics. And I'll just show you really quick how easy it is to catch these. You take the jig, find a nice open spot. I'm just gonna catch that. So let, it, let the jig sink for about a few seconds. I'm just gonna straighten out my line here. And then when you're fishing a jig like this, you just put the rod under your arm and you crank it back. Just move the line back and forth. That's all there is to it. Get these fish to come up and hit it. Here we got more bonita around us. You can see North Ireland right over my shoulder. I got one on. One of the kids has one on here. Here's a nice bonita. It's a magic metal jig. Just gonna flip them up. This is a magic metal jig. This one here is a three and three eighths. And I was just winding it right back, macro pattern. So I'm going to 
going to let this guy go. There he goes. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did here at Coronado Islands. Now we started off catching those bonita, and then later in the day the calicos came up and they got aggressive. But the key to catching the calicos today, the hot tip was, you had to use an anchovy. Some of the crew members were throwing out anchovies on light line, they were getting bit. They told us, we all switched over. And that's the hot outfit that I used was a size 4 Eagle Claw hook with a small sliding sinker, quarter ounce sinker, 12 pound test line, and just a really light outfit. I caught some on conventional gear and I also caught a bunch of them on this little spinning reel, just using a spinning outfit. I just wanted to show you this because if you're uncomfortable fishing with conventional gear, I want you to know you can catch these calicos and bonita on a small spinning outfit like this. Well, that's this week's tip. I want to thank the whole crew aboard the Pacific Voyager. You know, everybody here was great. Mark did a great job. All the deckhands were great on the deck. Gathos fished nicely. The cook, you, everybody was nice today. We had a great time. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.